China's water crisis has become a pressing issue that has garnered significant attention in the recent years, with a growing population, rapid urbanization, and the impacts of climate change, China is facing some difficult challenges in managing its water resources. The uneven distribution of water resources across the country, coupled with pollution and overexploitation, has led to a severe water crisis that has significant implications for China's economy, environment, and social stability. Now, China is the world's most populous country with over 1.4 billion people. Rapid development and growth have put immense pressure on the country's water resources. One of the biggest challenges is that these resources are not evenly distributed across the country. The majority of China's water is located in the south, while the north and west are relatively dry. This has led to significant water shortages in many parts of the country, particularly in the north where the water resources are already scarce. The North China Plain, for example, is home to over 200 million people and is one of China's most important agricultural regions. But it is also one of the most water scarce areas in the country. This has led to overexploitation of groundwater resources, which has caused water tables to drop and created land subsidence, which basically means that they are using too much of the natural resources and the land is starting to sink further and the water pockets are drying out. The South, on the other hand, has more water resources, but it also faces other challenges. The Yangtze River Basin is one of the most important agricultural regions in China, but it is also heavily polluted. Many of China's rivers and lakes are contaminated with industrial waste, agricultural runoff, and untreated sewage. Water pollution can act as a poison and even lead to many diseases. Bacteria and parasites from the sewage can potentially enter the drinking water and cause other digestive problems. Now, the combination of water scarcity and pollution has significant implications for China's economy, food security, and public health. Agriculture accounts for a significant portion of China's economy, but water shortages and pollution have reduced crop yields and made food production more difficult. Additionally, water shortages and pollution have led to severe health problems for many Chinese citizens. In general, the areas with the most water resources tend to be the most developed and prosperous, while the water scarce areas are often poorer and less developed. This creates challenges for the government in trying to balance economic development and water resource management across the country. Now to address these challenges, the Chinese government has launched several major initiatives, including the South to North Water Transfer Project, which aims to transfer water from the South to the North, and the Sponge City Initiative, which seeks to increase the amount of permeable surfaces in urban areas to reduce flooding and improve the quality of water. However, these initiatives face some significant challenges, including environmental concerns, as well as high costs of implementation. Now, this water crisis in China also has other implications for the rest of the world, both economically and environmentally. Um, economically, China is a major trading partner for many countries around the world. As the world's second largest economy, China's economic stability and growth have a significant impact on the global markets. Now, the water crisis in China could impact the country's ability to maintain economic growth and stability, which could have ripple effects throughout the rest of the world. For example, if the water crisis leads to food shortages or decreased agricultural production, it could impact global food supply and prices. Also, China's water crisis is connected to its energy sector, which is heavily reliant on coal-fired power plants. These power plants require significant amounts of water for cooling, and water shortages could lead to reduced energy production, impacting both China's economy and the global energy markets. 
Now, environmentally, China is one of the world's largest emitters of greenhouse gases, and the water crisis could worsen the country's challenges with climate change. Now, climate change is already impacting China's water resources with rising temperatures leading to more frequent droughts and scarcity. If the water crisis leads to an increased reliance on fossil fuels or reduced investments in renewable energy, it could further amplify global climate change challenges. So in conclusion, China's water crisis is a complex and delicate challenge that has significant implications for the country's economy, food security, and public health. It also has some serious global implications as China is a major economic and political player in the global landscape. Addressing the water crisis in China will require a coordinated effort from governments, businesses, and citizens to reduce pollution, increase efficiency, and find sustainable solutions for managing water resources. But that's going to do it for this one. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video. Also, be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one.